Hello. This is a playthrough of the compound time rhythm sheet that is now attached to the step six kind of uh, key summary sheet. Sounds confusing. Step six technical repertoire was five songs, one in each of the keys that we had done throughout the year. Um, and a couple of them were in compound time. Uh, that would be the 6-8 and the 12-8 tunes on the back of the step six pack. Um, to get our heads around a couple of the common rhythm patterns um, that you're going to find in those 6-8 tunes in particular, I've borrowed them from the first time we encountered them, so some of these will sound very familiar, and I've basically just incorporated them into uh, some short pieces that sound like this. The first one, the Something Easy, based on Hilliard's arpeggio from all the way back in the Step 2 pack, was in F major, um, is now in well, now all of these are in C major, and for low brass that puts us in B flat major. So if you have played them, they'll sound similar, but transpose to this new key. Sounds like this. <laughs> Something minor, this is based on Schumann's The Wild Horseman from the Step 3 pack. Once again, the key has changed. Here's our new one. Pretty straightforward, you can repeat it if you like it. Um, same deal, gets us feeling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4 and reading the crotchet followed by a quaver rest rhythm pattern that comes up in there a bunch of times. Big deal, crotchets are now worth two counts instead of one. That is the main thing here. If you see a tar, it's two counts. One, two, rest. Something sequential. We've talked about sequences a lot throughout the year in pieces like Blue Bossa where you take a pattern and then you repeat it a step higher or lower. That's a sequence. Here we've borrowed from Mozart's Piano Sonata number 12 in the step 4 pack. Have a listen. Something swinging, because when we play a swing piece, we're feeling the quavers, the TTs, as something like a triplet feel. For example, uh, what have we done? Fly me to the moon. Fly me to the moon. Underneath that is this one and two and three and four and one and two. We've got that long short feel. One and two and three and four. That almost lines up most of the time with a triplet feel. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. And if we chose to write out those triplets, instead of being three quavers on a beat in 4-4 four, four time, triplet, 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 if we just wrote that out as 6-8 or 12-8 time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you get the idea. It kind of works out the same. So, uh, we've played a version of this before, I think we did it in C major, concert C major. Something like that. Um, now we have it in concert B flat major. Same kind of feel, I've written in the swing slurring where you slur from the short offbeat onto the beat. In this case, that gives us slurs from count one, or into count one, into count four, into count, what's gonna be next? Seven, 10, oh look. It's too early in the morning for this. Here's how it sounds. One, two, three, four, five. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> something easy. This is the first thing on your sheet here. I reckon you should be able to transpose that up a perfect fourth. That would put uh, low brass in E flat major and that would put trumpets in F major. For something minor, um, I reckon you could move that up a whole step. How about we put that up into A minor for low brass? Mm and that would give us B minor for trumpets. I'll let you work out the key signature for that. Uh, something sequential, this is the one based on the Mozart. Ooh, how about, how about we move this up a perfect fifth? Uh, that would mean that instead of being in B flat major, low brass, you would now be in F major. Puts us up pretty high, up to high Ds. Um, and if you are a trumpet player, instead of C major, you will now be in G major, so your highest note uh, will be high E. And finally, something swingy. This is our, um, is it Ellington? I think it's Ellington. This is our Duke Ellington piece, don't get around much anymore. And at the moment we're in B flat major. I reckon we can have a real challenge. Let's put this up a perfect fourth as well for uh, trombone players, that'll give us E flat major, and for trumpet players, that'll put you in F major. Good luck. I look forward to hearing those things. If you come back next week and say, oh, that's too easy, um, maybe you haven't done the transposing side of it, because that's important too, to really cement these things in your brain. Enjoy. Enjoy. 